in Cowboy <laughs> schedule. Strength of schedule, 12th hardest through nine games against teams that made the playoffs last year and another trip to San Fran where they got manhandled last year. Joining us from Chicago, 670, the score again taking the oddest vacation in the world. <laughs> Danny Parkin still working. Brew, the win total is set at 10 and a half. I heard from the producers that you picked some of the games. <laughs> Look, I didn't want to do what everybody else does, all right? So I wanted to be unique. Let, let's throw it up there. Okay, okay, here we go. Here's what I see for the Cowboys. You say 11 wins on there? Ten I nine. think they have nine definites. Oh. Okay. Nine definite wins. I don't know if we have a graphic on that because I didn't write them down. But they got nine <laughs> definite. Okay, there it is. All right, nine definite wins. You got uh -huh. New Orleans, the, Gi uh, the Giants, yeah. of course. You know, you see some of them. Falcons, the Falcons, Eagles. The Eagles. Eagles in Philly or in uh, Dallas. Yeah. In Dallas, they'll beat them. Uh, Washington, uh, who, who the else? Giants, got there? This the is solid so far. Yeah, the Bucks, right. and, uh, yep. You got four definite losses Baltimore, Detroit. Yeah. Yes, I'm saying Detroit. Uh, San Francisco. San Francisco, of course. And at and, Philly. Uh, Phil at Philly. Okay, I'm going to let the clip play, but I wanted to jump in. I didn't know they were going to do it this way um, because. I have very similar, actually, although I don't have question marks for the Texans. I got the Texans. And if the Bengals are healthy, Joe Burrow is still playing and throwing and his arms not hanging in a sling. I got the Bengals. Um, and I think that the Brown, uh, the Browns will, I could think that I, I believe that they will beat the Cowboys. So I see this, and I think it's always hard to predict uh, these schedules because there's always those random games that a team loses. No one would have thought that the Cowboys were going to lose to the Arizona Cardinals last season or that um, the Chiefs were going to lose to the Raiders. Like, you, you just can't ever predict those losses. And the Steelers, again, that defense will be legit, should be legit. And the question is, is what's their quarterback situation, right? Like, if they're kind of doing this this song and dance between is it Russ is it Fields what's going on well let's just throw Fields out there and see what happens then sure that could be a win but if Russ is playing pretty good and he's just playing decent if he's just playing as well as he was with Denver then I think that the Steelers win that so I see their win total just like off the cuff anywhere between 8 to 11 which I know is a wide range I know that's not a sexy answer it's not like they will definitely win 10 games like I, this is not what I do. It's just not what I believe in. And as I'm saying, now that I'm making more of these videos with regards to the scheduling and predictions, I really don't think you know what a team is until they've played the first few weeks. You just have no idea. You, re you really, really don't. I don't care what anyone says. Um, and it's one of those things where you need to see a team go up against a really good defense, a really good offense, an experienced veteran quarterback, a, a rookie quarterback. Like you, you have to see what a team looks like. Um, and of course, obviously health is, is always in the mix, but I think there's obviously certain teams that I like, there's just like, I'm like, I can't see them beating. I can't see them beating the Ravens. I can't see them beating the Detroit Lions. I can't see them beating the 49ers. Um, the Eagles, they always play tough. So I think that'll either be, uh, they'll split that one and one or even go 0 and 2. It's hard for, or yeah, 0 and 2. It's hard for me to see the Eagles losing both those games. Um, and then I wonder if eventually, the commanders and the New York giants, that gravy train has officially dried up because the commanders should be a better team. Uh, you also have Dan Quinn now, who was obviously the coordinator for the Cowboys. I wonder if that influences anything. I don't really have strong opinions about the giants or the commanders, quite frankly. Uh, but I just wonder if eventually them constantly feasting on those teams, eventually that well, uh, runs dry and also the Falcons like I don't know if the Falcons are this automatic win if the if the Falcons are humming along and and Kirk Cousins is healthy and and full strength that I think the Falcons absolutely could win that game so yeah I think they beat the I think they beat of course the Panthers I think they beat the Bucks um so yeah I I feel like anywhere between like 8 10 11 wins Anything within that range makes sense. I can't see it being higher. I can't see it being lower. And honestly, if they end up winning 11 wins, I'd actually be more impressed. I think it's definitely possible. The real question is, if they end up dropping a random game, like let's say they end up losing to the Commanders or something in like a random close game or whatever, do they end up winning a surprise one where they end up beating 
the the Ravens 21 to 10 or or something random like that. And what happens in that week one game? Do the Browns come out strong? Is Deshaun Watson like, yo, I never left. Everyone relax on burying me. Or is it kind of like, uh, they're still kind of running into trouble. That's why I think these predictions are always hard. Fun to talk about, but looking at the count, the, you know, the, the date right now, it's 5, 16, 24. Okay. May 16th. We're talking about what's happening months from now. Like, come on. It's just, this is just like, I keep saying when I'm making these videos, this is just us desperately trying to talk football and create football content whether it's first things first the herd first take youtube my videos whatever it's like we just want to talk about football and this is the best we got right now so here we are and then you got a yeah, couple make it of bigger for good job guys. <laughs> it, it's right right so so they they'll live in those four games yeah. where can At we win those Pittsburgh? games Pittsburgh made the playoffs last year I mean and who did Dallas have trouble with last year it's teams that made the playoffs. Oh, oh, um, oh y'all forgot? No. We Let me remind you. This is what the Cowboys were. What they are. were the kings <laughs> of the tomato cans. They're yeah. not a tomato can, yeah. but they were the kings of beating tomato cans. Okay. All right? So you said it was nine playoff teams they played mm -hmm. this year. Nine. Yeah. All right? Last year they played eight, including the playoff game. Yeah. They won three. Okay? And here's the deal. Let's look at the three wins. The Rams, while they were struggling, it was early in the year. They blew, blew out the Rams. They weren't good at that Still, point. Philadelphia, when they were in their supernatural funk, I'm going to lose okay, my mind. which they won't be this year. And then the Detroit <laughs> on some heebie-jeebie stuff at the end of the game the, when, with yeah. the, the strange call basically with the illegal the receiver. They basically lost And then, that game. yeah, Dan Campbell they basically goes with two, like, two, three times in a row. Did they have any weird losses that could have been no, wins? No, not that I remember. Uh, really? Uh, <laughs> all right, so also, <laughs> also yeah. they got – we know how great they've been at home. 16 and one the last two years at home. Yeah. Struggled on the road, eight yeah. and nine. They got some tough home games. The home games, they got, I know they got Baltimore at home. They got Houston at home. Yeah. Obviously, Philadelphia, Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. I mean, they got some tough home so, games. So, so Bruce, I see about 10 wins. I'm going to give them one of the question marks. I see 10, maybe 11 wins. Well, I think so, they're. Tim, maybe 11. This Danny, is the 11. most ridiculous. Hold on, what? Danny, you Tim, go in a second. We'll What's time. the answer? <laughs> the answer is 10, maybe 11 oh, wins. Man, Do you see runners. 11 wins? Uh, 10. And this is why I like what Brew has to say. Seriously, they, they want to force him to give a concrete answer. And obviously, I gave my answer first, which I usually wait. Um, but I do the same thing. It's like, not everything has a definitive answer. I know it can maybe be more fun and interesting when you want to give that definitive answer but it's not accurate. And so I just think like we don't live in a world where you have to be forced to give this 100% definitive answer. It's just nonsense. And so I think it's what sports TV or sports media in general is a big disservice for that, of forcing you to be like, you have to have this answer. Who's going to win this game? And you can't say, I don't know. I could see it going both ways. And let's talk about why I could see it going both ways. To me, that's more interesting conversation. That's why I, you know, part of the reason why I created this channel. And that's the way how my mind works. And I have to imagine a lot of you guys, that's how your mind works as well, right? Where it's kind of like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I could see this, I could see that. And that's why I think there's such a disconnect with what we see in sports media because they're so old fashioned. They're still following like the 1920s model where you have to have like a, a newspaper headline, like literally like a newspaper, cl the original clickbait headline. And what would, it, what would it be called? Maybe like a penny bait or something, nickel bait, like in terms of like a nickel, cost like a nickel to get a paper. You follow what I'm saying? But, um, and it would be like, you know, Dallas to win, Dallas to lose, Eagles to win. Like it has to be so definitive and concrete. And I think like the whole point of long form, you know, content, YouTube, all of these things is to be able to be like, let's meander over here. Let's go over there. Let's go up. Let's go down. Like, let's just explore. Let's just like talk about it rather than it just be like, yes, no. And I think that's why we see other forms of media get so much more successful these days than these older, you know, shows. Not saying that First Things First is is equivalent to like a first take. I think First uh, First Things First and, you know, Colin Coward and The Herd are way better shows than what we see on pretty much anywhere else but i do think like it's funny to see them try to push 
brew and brews old fashioned brews old school and yet he refuses to do it which which i really like probably because i feel like he also comes from maybe from a more um like the original podcast in terms of radio where it is like i'm just gonna kind of talk and just go back and forth back and forth back and forth and we'll see where we land and what tv has made it as i got three minutes of your time before we cut to a commercial and so i gotta say something bold like dallas is not gonna win eight games next season and it's like what did he just say what did Stephen a just say i gotta watch now and it's like you know and that's why i think podcasts and youtube videos in general are doing so much better than what you see necessarily on tv and i think that's why tiktok and those other and the other platforms and and the shorts and the reels don't thrive as much with sports media because you can't have a take in 45 seconds you can if it's going to be nonsense and not nuanced and not actually like make any sense and you might be right and if you're right you get to say aha i was right but there's also a great chance you are going to be dead wrong and a half is a great line to say that. I'm going to say... <laughs> you did all I'm going to say 10. I'm going to say 10. I'm going to say 10. All right. Go ahead, Danny. Wow. Excellent. I can't top Excellent. that. I'll no, die. no, none of us can. That's amazing. We're all just playing. Fantastic. Yeah. So I do see 11 wins, but I don't really think it matters. Like, everyone needs to remember, Dallas is really good. They scored more points than any team in the NFL last year. They had the best point differential of any team in the NFC last year. They have the best quarter. You beat up on my Patriots. Who is this guy? Oh, my God. I'm I'm not going to rant. I'm just going to let it play. Beat up on the Giants. I don't know who's going to be good. 100 points against Mac Jones. (laughs) A lot of tomato cans. I understand that. But they have a good quarterback, good receiver, good edge rushers, good guys who will turn you over. They're a good team. But – it's all about the postseason. And so I had my guy Ramsey look it up in case anyone had forgotten when it really matters. They've won 12 games three years yes. in a row, right? But not a lot of playoff success. It's like, all right, how many conference title games have they been to? Who's the answer? Yeah. Three straight years do not appear in a conference We're doing title game. Trivia now, Dan? Yeah. What is this? Yes. There's a long list. I thought, I, I thought the graphic was broken. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought that was a place. <laughs> that was yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Show us the answer, the entire list. This is it. In we, all of NFL history. We've never seen this before. 12 wins. Three years in a that row. That doesn't surprise Without the making it to a conference year. Mike Mercy McCarthy ever? has one playoff win without Aaron Rodgers. So this guy it, can't stand Mike McCarthy. I can't. Man. For 15 it, years. It's he fraudulent. The whole thing, it's all it's a house of cards. When he got hired, he said he watched every play, and then he admitted at the in- introductory well, press conference. Yeah. I just said wins. it to get the job. Yeah. He's all right. But, so he'll win in the regular yeah. season, and they'll lose in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, so that's the right answer. Mm-hmm. Uh, and by the way, Brew even <laughs> kind of agrees with it, which is why I Brew had it. question marks. By the- if that's the right answer, well, first off, if Nick is agreeing, with i don't know that guy's name i apologize sir what is your name danny parkins i don't i don't know who danny parkins is um you seem really nice i don't know anything about you but um i'd say that if that's the case then nick wright has to bury his hatred towards aaron Rodgers, because that means aaron Rodgers has had his entire essentially his entire career majority of his career with a fraudulent coach of mike mccarthy and if that's the case then you have to say aaron Rodgers is even more amazing than you think because he overcame a fraudulent coach unlike some of these other great quarterbacks who have had elite amazing coaches like you may have heard of one of them andy Reid and patrick mahomes bill belichick and tom brady so those things do indeed matter Wait, have we ever had back-to-back graphics with yeah, question no, marks on them? <laughs> and it's so, all new. Th- all right, listen. <laughs> Everything's not black it, and white. It is even the biggest cowboy critics can't find seven definitive losses. I know because I'm sitting across from one, and he only found four. And then he had a bunch of who knows who done it. <laughs> but it won't matter. Like, it, it, and I'm, I'm not saying it won't matter because they can't succeed. What I'm saying is they are, from a narrative they- standpoint. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to say that, bro. <laughs> they are almost He's gonna explain the it. bizarro. He's gonna no, they're, they're almost like the bizarro Chiefs in this regard. There is no, no matter how the Chiefs do this coming regular season, 
if they're in the playoffs, no one is going to say they're drawing dead. No one's going to write them That's off. That's right. And no matter how good the Cowboys are in this regular season, that no one is going to go into the playoffs saying like, oh, Th this is the year I guarantee they don't fall short. Correct. They, th there, is no, th there is nothing they can do in the regular season to earn them the postseason benefit yeah, of the doubt. We saw it with the tomato I, cans. Like, can we see the schedule one more time, Hobbs? Because I, I think real we're being one with the There aren't as <laughs> many <laughs> tomato cans this year. That's why. No, but like, they will tough. lose a game that they're not supposed to lose that no one sees yeah, coming. Okay. Like, that's like the air. That's like, why that's like the Saints game. game. That's yeah, be but they also won't lose all. This is the problem with this exercise. They're not going to lose all their hard games. They're just not. Well, they and and, and sure. And, 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 They'll lose that Bengals game. That doesn't deserve a question mark. I got them beating Philly. I got them beating Philly. Week 14, Joe Burrow is it, prime Burrow. Uh, if he's playing, and it's in Dallas. That's the the other thing I like about Dallas this year. It seems like Brew doesn't. Is so a disproportionate so amount of their game. tough games are at home. But see, I, that's I, see. I think that's a problem because they aren't as good on the road. And they beat up a lot of tomato cans at okay, home. Okay, that was uh, – all right. I mean, it's just tomato cans. All right, I mean, can we take the tomato can off? I think we should I know, it. but they, they got like happy off of eating tomato cans. Right, but they still get the Giants twice a year. They still yeah, get right. Washington they'll lose twice they'll a get year. Their they, I, I know it seems impossible to you guys, but maybe the – supernatural funk is it that we're using for our full Eagles analysis maybe that extends or maybe it descends on them again or maybe Big Dom is sick that day that's not how supernatural funk okay yeah. right. it's over. Yeah, it's over. All right well I'm not gonna just rehash my last video which was uh, just yesterday about you know the Cowboys and all the nonsense of them feasting on tomato cans you know bad teams and all of that um, but Nick has not really been able to craft a legitimate point. His whole, his whole point was they're not going to lose all their hard games, which I think that's a fair assessment. And, and you know, so I, I think that's okay. But this idea, here's the thing. Nick last season had Dak as the MVP and had them going to the Super Bowl, okay? They obviously did not. They obviously got demolished by the Packers and went home. Now, the Cowboys did not get better, obviously. I mean, there's just no way they got better. They lost their coordinator. Uh, they lost a bunch of players. They did not get better. So why, if they did not get better, and they proved to not be as good as people thought they were last season. Why do you think that they will have an equivalent season that they had last season? Even though they are a worse team. And that they now theoretically are playing a harder schedule. They're playing better teams. A higher percentage of you know playoff teams. Like that's what does not make sense. That logic is flawed that Nick is just deciding to throw out because he's using that logic for the Eagles. The Eagles were not that good at the end of last season. And therefore, that means this season, they're not going to be that good, even though the Eagles have gotten better. They have objectively gotten better. You can't, I, I don't know anyone who wants to dispute that. I really do not know what to say to you. If you don't, if you don't think that the Eagles upgraded from an OC and a DC standpoint, got better players in the draft, as well as a key player, AKA Jalen Hurts should be healthy. Like if you don't think that that matters, then I, I don't really know what to say to you. Honestly, I really don't. Um, but, but let's just say they didn't get better. Okay. Let's just say they're the exact same team. Why do you think that they're going to continue that trend? But yet somehow the Cowboys are going to not continue that trend. They're going to break their trend, even though that they there's no reason to believe that they will. They were clearly not that good of a team last season. They had an incredibly easy schedule. I think it was like ended up being like what, like the second easiest schedule in the NFL or something crazy like that. I forget what it was. Um we, we saw they only really played like three hard teams 
or they only beat three good teams that whole season. And one of them was the Eagles, who I said were never really as good as people thought they were. They played the Rams before they kind of got healthy and had and had their momentum going. And the Detroit Lions, that game was a sham. They clearly lost that game. The ref blew it. And even if you want to say, well, they beat them, they beat them by like this. So hardly anything to hang your hat on. So are you ex- what are you expecting then? So how can how can you not see the Dallas Cowboys taking a step back? It doesn't make sense. So I can't make sense of it. Maybe you can. I can't. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys think? Do you think that the Cowboys can definitely get to 11 wins? Do you think without a doubt they're getting to 11 wins? And do you believe, do you agree with Danny Parkins that the Cowboys are just this great team? Or do you agree with Brew or me that mm, they're not that good? And maybe they'll win 9, maybe they'll win 10, maybe 11, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to. Something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much and see you next time.